Your left edge. Stop recording video. Centered. Speech off. Hi guys, it's VI Life with Kelly. Happy Saturday. It's the second day of October. And as promised, I am starting my Cook With Me edition for the entire month of October. It's all about food. Um, this is my second take. I just talked for like 20 minutes. Nothing recorded. So let's pray, pray, pray. Camera stops chirping. Anyway, um, this will be one of five uploads. So I'll definitely be listing in the comments um, when the next video is uploaded. I'm believing prayerfully all these videos will be up and ready to watch by Sunday, October 3rd, 2021. Who knows? It just depends on how long each one is and how long it takes to upload. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram or Twitter, that's the best place to be because I'll show pictures of the final results. I'll also link the videos in um, the description and of the um, picture on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll also leave the recipe in the comments, in the comment section. So when you see the meal or the pastry, whatever it is, you'll see the link there to go watch the video. And then you'll see the recipe in the comments. Um, so I'm doing five videos today. This video is going to be a quick um, cookie recipe. It's not from scratch today, um, but I am going to show you every single thing I use and how I do it. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments. If you like to collaborate with me, because I would love to do so, um, let's do it. You can email me vilifewithkelly at gmail.com. Instagram and Twitter is both vilifewithkelly. And if you want to um, send me anything you'd like me to make or any of your recipes um, any of your cookbooks cooking ideas I would love to do it and my address is in my um, bio on IG as well as in the description box here um, so all is welcome guys um, I would love to feature your cooking utensils your seasonings there's just so many things I would love to introduced to my audience and definitely introduced to my family and my life because i'm always enjoying wonderful soy free mushroom free gluten free dairy free <laughs> items okay guys okay so in this um five part series that i'm doing for the first week of october you will be getting um, a pescatarian dish, a vegetarian dish, a vegan dish, and a, a dish for the carnivores, the meat eaters, okay? So um, definitely be looking out for that. In the month of November, I will be doing um, baked goods, and that will be from scratch. So definitely be looking forward to November. It's going to be all about baked goods, pastries, things of that nature, pies, cakes. Um, I'll be doing a cookie recipe that will be from scratch. Oatmeal, dark chocolate chip, raisin walnut cookie. I got this recipe from my grandmother who got it from a coworker and we've been enjoying it for the last 20 plus years. Um, so I'll be doing that. I'll be doing my version of a banana pudding. Um, I'll be doing a peach cobbler from scratch recipe. Like there's so many things that's gonna be going on. Um, I'm considering collaborating to make my very first sweet potato pie this year. I'm thinking about um, doing a pumpkin loaf. I have done the pumpkin loaf before, but we're really just going to enjoy ourselves. And that's that. Okay, guys. Um, the recipes to be coming up after this five-part series, the goal is every week to at least release five videos of delicious meals that you and your family, friends can enjoy. Um... The next recipes I'll be coming out with is a red snapper macaroni and cheese that is from scratch. Um, and that is not going, that's going to be a pescatarian dish. Um, I will be doing a vegan cornbread dressing. Um, I will be doing my version of sa um, sauteed greens. Um, so it's usually like turnip greens for me um, and kale. Um, so that's delicious. Um, now I'm trying to think what was the other recipe. It's the red snapper mac and cheese, the sauteed greens, the um, vegan cornbread dressing. Um, I'm doing a um, vegetarian lasagna for you guys. 
and um something else i'll think of it in a little bit but if you guys have some recipes you're wanting to get maybe a vegetarian or vegan twist to it or you're looking for a pescatarian um dish like whatever spin let me know i would love to do it and i'm open to it because i'm my goal is to do 20 recipes at least for you guys for the month of october and then just keep going from there for the rest of the year okay so thank you so much for watching um for all those sub subbies that come back thank you guys and for the newcomers welcome and enjoy don't forget to like share comment and subscribe you will get alerted every time i upload so you'll never miss an upload and we just keep going from there i am going to be doing um giveaways so definitely be looking out for that i'm going to be doing a giveaway in october this month november and december um so let's you know let's enjoy um i will be also in november uploading pictures to my instagram of um, my decorations for um last year's christmas and then I'll be also showing you guys um, this year's Christmas in December. Um, so that'll be giving you great decorative ideas um, for your family, for your home. Um, and I'm also going to take pictures um, this week and show you guys my fall decorations that I've already started to give you some ideas. Um, some of the places I like to go to to find things is the Kohl's department store, um, Dillard's department store, and Macy's. Um, I'll, of course, I go to Home Goods. Of course, Marshalls. Of course, Ross. Of course, um, TJ Maxx. Of course, like those are places you just go to all the time and just hope you can pick up something here or there. Nordstrom Rack and Saks Off Fifth is another great place, but you just gotta go all the time and just pick up one off, two off things here and there. Um, Michaels is a good resource too, but you just have to keep going in there just all the time just picking up and sometimes you hit big and then sometimes you just get a couple more things a couple more things um i did go all in last year for christmas so this year i don't need as many things um i'm just gonna get like some 2021 specific ornaments this year um, i'm gonna get a mr and mrs claus um a couple this year i'm going to get um this tree scar garland i have one of them but i need another one to make the full circle so i'm going to get that i'm going to get a larger train set this year um so those are some things to look forward to um so yeah guys super exciting i hope you guys have been having a great day and definitely check my instagram out for inspiration and um, encouragement and just affirmations of things that you've been wanting desiring praying for yourself um, I really enjoy connecting with others who believe how I do or strengthen and increase me. And so that's the gift that I give to my followers. Okay, guys, enough about this. So let's get into it again. Let me check. Let me make Speech sure. On. Selfie zoom. Stop recording video. Face near top left edge. Near top edge. Face near top edge. Speech off. Okay, guys. So we're still recording. Praise the Lord. And we'll keep flowing together. So here we go. I'm making chocolate chip cookies. They're not from scratch, okay? So, um, I told you guys a minute ago what I'm using, so let's get into it. My oven has already been preheating to 350 degrees, so it's ready. Um, it, if you don't have an oven like mine, my oven, when you turn it on, um, it automatically beeps once it, it's hit 350 degrees but if you have a traditional oven that doesn't do that for you set your set your um oven to 350 and then set your timer for 10 minutes and you will be ready to go okay um so what i'm using today i said i'm not cooking from scratch nestle toll house chocolate chip cookies this is the semi-sweet chocolate um supposed to be non-gmo and all those wonderful things um so i haven't had an issue with them so that is why we're using them today um they cost two dollars and 69 cents at target okay so that's how much it was 
Then we have the Private Selection Cacao Dark Chocolate. Um, this I believe this is by Kroger. I want to say this is Private Selection by Kroger, but I'm not sure at all. Okay. Um, they don't look like the typical chocolate chips. I usually get Nestle Toll House dark chocolate chips that look like those little drops, teardrops. But these look like blocks. Okay. So, if you see the blocks here, then, um, uh, you guys, this is so sad. I hate this movie. And right now, Blaze in the Hood is playing. Um, I have BET on. And this is the part where Ricky gets killed. Y'all, I can't stand it. Let me see. <sighs> Speech on. Face near top left edge. Near top edge. Near top left edge. Near top edge. Okay, face near top edge. Near top left edge. Face near top left edge. One face near top left edge. See what the problem is. My near left edge. whole thing is, um, hold on guys. Hold on. Near bottom left edge. Hold on. Near bottom edge. Y'all, this is so crazy. Centered. I don't understand why my stand near bottom is edge. falling apart all of a sudden. Centered. Okay. Near bottom edge. Centered. Okay, here we go. Near left edge. Centered. One face centered. Okay, guys. Now. Let me see. I pray to God y'all been seeing me this whole time. Let me see. Face centered. Hold on. Okay, cool. Near left edge. Centered. Face centered. Stop recording video. Face centered. Speech off. Okay. Cool, guys. So, let me show you again. So, here is the Nestle Toll House chocolate chip packaging. Again, it's $2.69 at Target today. Who knows what it is tomorrow. Um, again, I have the private selection dark chocolate chips. This is the cacao. I believe it's by Kroger private selection um let me see something so these are it's gonna look like these little square blocks okay all right so that's the ones we want to use okay and then i'm using a non-stick cookie sheet okay yeah i need to turn this off I'm using a non-stick cookie sheet and I got this from Home Goods. These were like $7.99. They weren't more than $12.99. I got several of them in all different sizes last year. So hold on. If you wanted to hold on guys, let me turn this off. If you wanted to, some people will use like a stick of butter to coat the bottom to coat the bottom of their cookie sheet right yeah you want to do it you can you don't have to when you use the non-stick it's not going to stick some people will say they do that so that the cookies won't stick um but some people just do it because they like that buttery flavor on the bottom of their cookies so it's up to you um i'm not sure which one this is i go between lando lakes butter and smart balance so i'm not sure which one this one is but they cost like four dollars sixty nine cent for a tub. Um, hold on, guys. I usually have like a spray of the olive oil that you can just spray in your pan when you want to have like an extra layer of protection. You know what I mean? So, but you don't have to use it unless you just want that extra flavor. It's not about it's going to stick is not going to stick okay all right guys so let's call one of my be my eyes volunteers i love these guys thank you so much for all your volunteering open be my eyes so we can find out exactly what am i using okay once again my oven's already preheated to 350 so if you need to turn your oven on guys let's do it and whatever cookie um pre-prepared cookie um you want a brand you want to use I've used Simple Truth. I actually wanted to get oatmeal raisin, 
but they've been sold out like even when i go to kroger nobody has my oatmeal raisin cookies anymore right now because i usually buy oatmeal raisin and then put the dark chocolate chips in them so i'll put like one or two of these blocks in each little cookie square and so that's what's going on all right let's find out i forgot okay guys so here we go here we go no, I know it. Hi there. How are you doing? Oh, pretty good, thank you. Can you tell me what the name of this is? You said what is it? Original what? Buttery spread. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, guys. So this is the Smart Balance um, buttery spread recipe. It's the original. Um, this is not. This is dairy free, soy free. It's one of the only products left that's dairy free and soy free. I used to get country crop all the time. Now it's riddled with soy and chemicals. It used to be a vegetable based spread. It used to taste so good, but they've changed the ingredients on us guys. All right, so let's get started. So what I'm gonna do, Charles is in here crying y'all. He was doing good for a few minutes for me. But now he's interacting up. Now I will say I've had these cookies out too long because they're super soft. And um, I wish that I didn't have them out this long because it makes it harder to break them off without them falling all apart. So definitely leave your cookie um dough. Definitely leave it in the um what you call it. Definitely leave it in the refrigerator until you're really ready to spread them. Like, I'm not ready. And that's that. So, I wasn't ready. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I wasn't ready because I'm talking and doing this video. But anyway, definitely have clean hands, guys. Right? So, definitely have some clean hands. But... Anyway, so what I'm gonna do, cause they already, let me show y'all what it looks like when you open it. Hopefully y'all can see this. Um, so let me see if this thing fell down again. It did. Y'all, we are having a bad time trying to film today. It's not going good. Hold on. What is this? Do we need to bind and rebuke a devil real fast? Let me see mess is really getting on my nerve there's no need for this foolery and this crap is just let me see we just resolved this issue a few minutes ago and this okay let's see speech on near, stop recording video face near top left edge near top edge face centered centered okay guys speech off let's pray over this over this um ring light holder stand thank you lord right now for no more interferences or delays okay i just want to show y'all what the cookies look like when you take them out the package and mine are way too thawed out but oh well let's move on and i'll show y'all what they look like in this um once i and really since mine are so thawed out i'm going to have to scoop them with a spoon so that's annoying I don't know how long y'all been looking at the ground. Not sure. This is gonna be challenging for me because when it's broken into your perfect little squares, so you get done super mega fast. You're just done. But um, oh, I forgot to put my um. 
what happens now is like I gotta kind of shift them. It's like I'm gonna have to take a spoon and kind of shift it about or whatever. So, whatever. Anyway, guys. Okay. Thank you, Lord. I hope you guys had a great Saturday. Um, my church has a prayer service on Saturdays. So I always enjoy when I can make it to that. It just really helps. It's like a beautiful release that you get when you're able to just let things go. It's like when you go there, you get an opportunity to just say what you need to say, cry, scream, like whatever you need to do. But when you walk away, you just get that second win. Like, okay, I can do this. Like, I got this, God got me. Yay. Y'all, these cookies are crazy. So we've learned the lesson. Number one, don't let the cookie dough get this thawed out because it makes it harder. Because now you gotta sit up here and reportion all the cookies when you could have just. I'd have been done a long. If this was like firmer, I'd have been already done. Let me see. Now I got all these levels here. Oh crap, it's messed. Okay, let me see. Dang, holes, okay. I don't know, these could, this is an experiment. This has turned into an experiment now. Because now I have to sit up here and get this together. Let me find a spot that doesn't have really Okay, so. Okay, guys, so we're finished. We're finished um, with putting these cookies in the pan. We finished with that. I did not. Oh, no. It fell down again. Okay. Y'all, this is so sad. Not only I guess it is falling apart. I don't get it. I guess it's time for me to get a new um stand. That's all that's the only thing that makes sense is this it's time to get a new stand. Because the stand that I have is out of control it's not working good for me anymore it used to work good for me but not anymore because it just keeps falling back down let me see let me see and then i don't know what y'all been looking at this whole time on. selfie zoom zoom in face near top left edge Stop record near face near top edge. Mm. Near top right edge. Near top edge. Face near top edge. Centered. Okay, this is centered. Near top. Face near top left edge. Let's see if it's gonna fall back down. Near top edge. It acts like one face near top left edge. Phone face near left edge. Near left edge. Hold on. Mm -mm. Okay. 
It's VI Life with Kelly, guys. This is some of the drama that I have because I don't know visually. Like, I could just turn around and look, you know, while people are Zero recording. People. Selfie zoom. Zoomed in. Button. I could just turn around and look and see. One face near left edge. My stuff fell down or whatever. Face near left edge. Centered. Okay, let's see what centered me. Oh, shoot, near left edge. Selfie zoom. Zoomed in. Button. Double tap to zoom out. One face near left edge. Selfie zoom. Zoomed in. Button. Centered. Okay, guys. So near left edge. Centered. So near left edge. Face near left edge. Centered. One face near left edge. Centered. Yeah. Near left edge. Okay, cool. Let's get through this. Hopefully. Alright, guys. So I moved the cookies around on this. Place. Centered. Let me show y'all. Because some people think everything near left edge. be beautiful and gorgeous. I'm not a chef. This is what my cookie sheet looks like right now, guys. Okay. Hopefully y'all can see it. Centered. One face centered. Okay. That's what my cookie sheet looks like. Near right left edge. Now. Why? Because centered. I let the cookie dough get too thawed out. Near the left edge. Cookies are not going to take long. To stop recording video. Off. Button. Matter of fact, no, don't stop recording. Centered. Stop recording video. Face near left edge. Near top left edge. Speech off. Matter of fact, let's see what time it is. Okay, it's 521. It's 21 minutes after the hour wherever you live. So, I'm going to put my dark chocolate chips in here. I showed you guys what they look like. They're by private selection. I honestly don't remember how much they cost. Let's say like no more than $2.99. These are the cacao, the dark chocolate. So, y'all saw what my tray looks like. The saddest thing about this movie is that it really shows that taking a life, it doesn't never make you feel better. I'm talking about Boys in the Hood for you guys that are just jumping in. That's the movie that's playing in the background. I can only believe this movie is 30 plus years old. Okay guys, so... I don't know, it's like a lot of imbalance here on this cookie making life. Because it's like all that room right there versus how much room up here. Don't even make no sense. Make no sense. Okay. But it does teach you in this movie that you gotta stay focused in life. And no matter how hard it gets, you, you can always make it to the other side of the situation. Okay guys, so I'm putting my cho dark chocolate chips in now. You can put it wherever you want. I like to put mine kind of like in the center. So when it starts melting, it kind of spreads throughout the cookie instead of just kind of being off in the side somewhere so i'm just putting like one block in each center of a cookie that's why these chocolate chips will last you a really long time because it's not i'll probably finish this package when we make those cookies i told y'all about at the beginning of this video. I cannot believe it's already um almost it's almost 5.30 right now. Let me see. Okay. Okay. 
The next thing I'm gonna show you guys after this is the stuff I picked up from the store. So fun. This mess is ridiculous. These commercials are out of control. Okay, so from what I can tell, every cookie has a chip now. Okay, well, oh, except for this one. Mm -mm. decorative towels so I don't um I don't really use them I have towels that I really use that are folded in the corner and then I have decorative towels so the decorative towels do not get used at all um you do kind of like a trifold with them yeah. Okay, guys. So, to me, it's like, I have a lot. All right, let's see what time it is so we can see how many actual minutes we have. Um, I'm putting this butter up because I didn't use it and I'm not going to use it right now. All right, let's see how many minutes. So, Okay, it's 527 now, so by 535, we're going to be taking them out. So by 35 minutes after the hour, we're going to be taking, we're going to be taking our cookies out. Okay? All right, guys, now, let me see if we're still recording. Stage on. Selfie zoom. Centered. Stop recording video. Face centered. Near my badge. Okay. Now, let me show you all this. Centered. Because you guys might already be looking at it. Near top left badge. Near left edge. Selfie zoom. Zoomed in. Near top edge. Near left edge. Selfie zoom. Zoomed in. Button. Centered. Near left edge. Face near left edge. Centered. Okay, guys. Face centered. Speech off. Look, this is my refrigerator. These are all the places that I've been, guys. Now, I've forgotten to pick up... I have forgotten to pick up um, refrigerator magnets in Tampa. I forgot to do that, so when I go back, I'll get one. Um, there's a couple places I've been that I have forgotten to get refrigerator magnets, but I'll get one because I go there regularly. But this is my refrigerator. This is where I put all my handy dandy refrigerator magnets. I try to get some really cool ones that are visually appealing, and they're just not. Um, you know, just say the city or whatever or the state. So, yeah, really enjoy them. Okay, I have a friend going to London to watch the Falcons game next week. So, I'm going to have a London one, a Paris, London, all the places. It's going to be cool. All right, guys, so I'm going to take y'all. I want to take y'all with me to the hallway, but I'm going to have to take this down. And I can, because it's not. Speech on. Stop recording video. Face near bottom left edge. Because Centered. otherwise it's not going to work out. Because near my edge. I tried to bring... Um, face near top right edge. One face near my edge. Yeah, I tried to um, bring near top right edge. a little while ago. And it doesn't make it all the way to this dining area. So... Near my edge. 
Okay. Face centered. So near top right edge. I'm bringing y'all over here. With near right edge. Vlogging style. Face near bottom right edge. Now this is what I did so Selfie far zoom. to zoomed my in. Di Button. dining room table. I don't. I'm not in love with my table. I'm actually looking for a new table, edge. but I'm just gonna show y'all. So what I did, I put um instead of putting the plates, the full size plates, I used the salad plates. Um as and I put them like I put them like in a diamond and then I got my fall napkins but I'm going to be adding um gold and silver knife fork combination to lay on top of each napkin and then I have the coffee mugs so let me show y'all what I'm gonna do with my coffee mugs but before I show y'all so it's a, so there's a setting for four people on the table. Hopefully y'all can see it. Don't pay attention to the background. There's a lot going on. And then we got these pumpkin shaped baskets, wicker baskets. We got these from Kohl's. And then we have the um, sage sea salt candle in the center. I got those from Nordstrom and they were only five bucks, guys. Um, but we got these pumpkin baskets and then we got these um decorative little pumpkins we got um i have some two chicks in here um here's another little pumpkin right there um hopefully you guys can see me pulling this stuff out um acorn is right there um not sure what this is what is cute one face near my edge i think it's a cranberry or something and then that's about it guys there's just some more. Oh, and here's a squash. Isn't that cute, guys? Hopefully, y'all can see it real good. It's a squash. But anyway, so let me show y'all what Near I'm doing with the, um... Centered. Let me let y'all look at me again. Near my so, edge. Hopefully, you guys could see. I'm going to show y'all. I'll post a picture when I get my um gold and silver silverware and I put it on there. I'll show you guys what it ends up looking like. One face near top left edge. Um, oh, yeah. Let me show y'all this over here. So I did get, um, let me see if I, find, I wonder if I went the wrong way because I am not trying to let y'all see this whole, this whole area. It's not for, for viewing. Okay, cool. So here it is, guys. I did get this from Kohl's. It has Zero two people. candles here. It has two candles. It has the welcome fall. Hold on, guys. It has the welcome bar. It has all the little different. It's really cute. And the and the candles light their LED candles, if you can see them in there. So hopefully y'all can see pretty good. That's what's cute. Um, let me see. Yes, you guys. That's really a popcorn maker. Let me see. Face near left edge. Face centered. Stop recording video. Face near left edge. Yes, Speech off. Keep checking. This is really a um, popcorn maker like the movie theater. I got this for my daughter last Christmas. Uh, she used to have one when she was like in fourth grade. Then I got her. She loved it. She would have her little friends over. They would make popcorns. You guys, that's really a real movie theater popcorn maker. We got it off of Amazon. Yeah. Target had them, but they were sold out forever. Like it never came in stock. But anyway, this is that. What the heck is going on? Speech on. Selfie. Near. Stop recording. Face near bottom left. Face near left edge. Okay. Centered. Okay. Speech off. Um, that's what's going on over there. Those are my decorations for now. Now here's this. Now this is going and transitioning into my target hall. Speech on. Face near left edge. Stop recording video. I have to double check all the time. Speech off. Then I'm still recording. Speech on. Stop recording video. Face near left edge. Okay. Centered. Speech off. So now this is going into my target haul. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show y'all what I picked up today and the things that I'm going to be using in these recipes in the next four uploads. Um, let me see what time it is so we do not burn cookies. Okay, 534. That fast, guys. We got 60 seconds before it's time to pull these cookies out. As a matter of fact, let's just go on over there and get the cookies out. We're not even going to play games. Let's go on. Speech on. Face near left edge. So centered. Face at one face centered. Okay, guys. We're gonna go near my edge. On. Let's put these back on here. We're gonna put you guys back on this stand. 
Ooh, I smelled the cookie, so I'm Center. trying to worry a little bit. Near bottom left edge. Okay, guys. Let's see. Face near left edge. All right, we're back in the kitchen. Center. Near right edge. Interesting. Center. Okay, cool. Let's pray the stand work with works with us. One face centered. Okay. So we're taking the cookies out. I smelled them. Centered. Face near left edge. Speech off. If your cookies were as, as thought out as mine were, don't leave them in there for longer than eight minutes. I don't even want to do eight minutes because they're going to be done. All right, guys. So we're going to set this up here. My daughter had made tacos last night and rice and beans. So if you see some food already, don't think I cooked already. No. This is food from yesterday. Okay, guys. So the cookies are out. Okay. The cookies are out. Um, it's piping hot. I'm going to turn this oven off. Charles! Charles is making his debut into um, the video. Okay, the cookies are out. Because I'm kind of concerned about them. Be quiet right now. Because I'm kind of concerned about them, I don't think I'm going to leave them. I don't see myself leaving them on that um, cookie sheet to cool because I think they're going to be burned. So um, I just went and got a plate. Just a simple plate. Now if your cookies were, if your cookies were not all the way thought out like mine, go on and no, no. Go on and hmm. really, you know what guys? I might be wrong. These cookies are not ready. Hold on. These guys might need two more minutes in there because they are movable. Hold on. Movable cookies. Let me put these back in for like two more minutes. Let's put these cookies back in here for like two more minutes. I've turned the oven on those off, so don't turn it back on, guys. Let's give it like two more minutes. Hold on. Okay. Let's see, guys. Let's make sure we're still doing good here. Speech on. Face near left edge. Stop recording. Face centered. Speech off. seconds in there and then I'm going to take them out and I actually am going to let them sit here for about five minutes okay I'm not sure what's going on with my dog I think he needs water let me check I'll be right back don't go anywhere guys let me see, let me see if water. Can you make you want to pop you up with you make it too much noise so what is the problem So, don't think I named my daughter Rihanna after after the finger. No. I had my daughter before Rihanna was out, and her name is Rihanna. The singer is Rihanna, not Rihanna. But everybody calls her Rihanna. Charles! Hold on, Bubba. She's got to come outside. I'm not understanding these black people. That I live with. Okay, now. 
this picky is done. These cookies are done. I do kind of feel like they're overcooked now, but I don't know. Because that way they smell. Okay, guys. So, let me try to show y'all what it looks like. I'm going to try to show y'all. Let me see. Hopefully this is interesting for y'all. Because this is what I go through. Let me see. So I'm going to try to show you guys what these cookies look like right now. Show you what they look like. Hopefully y'all can see them. I don't know. But I'll try my best to give y'all an angle look at my cookies. Because they're not going to slide or anything until I move them. Okay. Hopefully they look mouth-watering. Okay. Now guys, in five minutes... We're gonna come and move them off of the cookie sheet. Let's see. So that's gonna be in five four at forty five after. So wherever you live, at forty five after, we're taking them off the cookie sheet. All right, let's go back and see what we got from the grocery store. Speech on. Stop recording. Face near bottom left. Near left edge. Okay, guys. One face near right edge. Oops. Centered. Okay, guys. So face near right edge. Near right edge. Speech off. Okay, guys. So. If you're wondering, um, why I have an earpiece in, it's because I'm trying to minimize as many voiceover backgrounds as possible. Okay, guys, so, oh, man, I should have told this girl that I don't like dented cans, because this one is dented. Okay. So pretty much, guys, I got, hopefully this is the front of it, Zatarain Spanish rice. Not sure if you guys do it. Zatarain has several different um, kinds of rice. They have jambalaya, if you're into that, red beans and rice, yellow rice, dirty rice, wild rice. They have several kinds of rice options. Um, they also have another Spanish rice that has um, white beans in it. It's delicious. Okay, so I have got two of those. Okay, then Speech on. Centered. I'm going to keep um, voiceover on so I can know if I'm centered or not when I'm talking to y'all. Near left edge. I got these Rotel centered. Um, cans. One of them is called Mexican style. It has cilantro and lime juice in it. Not sure if this is the one or not, but this is what it looks like. I'll just roll it around. Matter of fact, I think this is the back, so I'm just going to roll it here. That's what I got. It's like 99 cent. I think the rice was 129. One face centered. And here I got these green chilies, diced green chilies. Um, I forget what brand this is, but it was like 85 cents at Target. Um, what else did I get? I got another um, can of diced tomatoes with mild green chilies. And I got a fire roasted one. Not sure if that's the one or not. I got an original diced tomatoes with green chilies as well um and then i have one face centered um another one now normally i would get if they have it the one with habanero peppers diced tomatoes and habanero peppers i get like one of each super good i also got a can of bushes um black beans so those are good these were 99 cents at target I'm pretty sure if you go to Walmart, you can get it for cheaper. I think I've seen them for $0.69 cent at Walmart. Near top, one face near top edge. We don't have Walmart. We're Centered. Okay. So these are the things that I'm Selfie found. zoom. Zoomed in. Button. Fact, let me show y'all so you guys can see. Maybe. Um, but this is what I'm showing you right now. So that's in the first bag. I did pick up some olive oil. Let me see which side maybe shows you the um front let's just say this is the front but we'll just turn it both sides um this one is the extra virgin olive oil it was on twelve dollars and ninety six cents i don't know if this is the back i really don't care when it comes to olive oil which one i'm gonna get um they had a garlic one i was liking that i picked up like that's the only Zero thing, people. like when it comes to like doing something different but I don't care if it's pure olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, virgin olive oil. I don't really care. I go off the price, honestly. 
I don't care what brand it is. I'm not brand loyal. I'm price loyal. One face center. I do buy the Kroger brand because you usually could get this same size patch. and it's like seven dollars if you get pure. If you get like extra virgin, then it's like maybe nine dollars. Nine dollars. Who cares? Centered. Um. Face centered. Okay, so let's finish looking. Um, I picked up some blackberries, guys. So good. I love these. Um, and that's that. I did pick up like four packages of these um blackberries. One face near left edge. Super good. Fifty minutes. Twenty six seconds. Um, what else did I pick up? So you can see in my bag how many I picked up three packages of these blueberries. So good. Um, love, love, love. I showed you guys these in my um try on haul. I showed you guys my exercise clothes I picked up from um okay, bottom right for edge. the meat eater. Fifty minutes, forty eight seconds. I picked up some sirloin steak strips from Target is eleven ninety nine. This is what I got today. Um, I will be making, oh, that's what I forgot to tell you. I'm going to be making a vegan gravy, um, with rice. Poshmark, now, you need these unpicked converse styles. Shop now, 51 okay, minutes, 7, 1, face, face near left edge. This video is getting out of control. Speech off. Okay, here we go. So, I will be making, um, a plant-based option. I'll be using an ultimate garden burger that's soy-free, mushroom-free, and dairy-free. And then I will be using um the steak the sirloin steak also so i'll be baking these i'll show you guys how i do that meal um super easy super quick and that will be the carnivore meat eaters option for um the dish i did pick up some red grapes guys yummy i need to rinse those off still and what else did i get Oh, I got some blue corn. Okay, let me tell you. Tostitos came out with a salsa verde. Salsa verde tortilla chip. I picked those up. I never knew about them. I don't know if they're new or old, but I'm going to try those out. Looking forward to that. I have some peach mango salsa that I'm looking forward to eating. It's by... um. What is the name of their stuff now? It's not Archer Farms and it's not Market Pantry. But they have a new name for their Target brand. So, yeah. And then, um, here's this one. This is the one that I am familiar with and I buy it all the time. Oh, Lord. It's hard doing stuff with one hand. But anyway, so... Okay, here we go. So this is the blue corn tortilla chip. It has flaxseed. Um, I really enjoy these, and it has the resealable packaging at the top. So I use these for my nachos, and I will be making nachos. So um, that'll be, and that's going to be a vegetarian dish. Um, so look forward to that with these blue corn. Tortilla chips, but you can use whatever chip you want to use. I forget how much these are. I think they're like $4. Um, but those are the ones I'm using for my vegetarian nachos that I'm making for y'all. Um, and these are the chips I'm going to be using for my salsa for a snack. Here so they are. The salsa there made by Tostitos. so what else did we get okay guys i did get some dave's killer bread this is called power seed and it was four dollars and 19 no it was five dollars and 19 cents a loaf for this bread it's dave's killer bread and it's power seed it's um infused with organic juices so i am excited to find out what that tastes like i usually eat my bread with either um shredded mozzarella cheese or sunflower butter so this is what that looks like and 519 i've seen that at whole foods surprisingly for less though 
I want to say Whole Foods has it for like a dollar cheaper sometimes. Don't quote me on that because everybody's Whole Foods has different prices. And, you know, Whole Foods will change their prices too whenever they get ready. Okay, what else did I get? I got some ginger ale. I got the mini cans. Let me see, guys. Anyway, let me see if I can do this effectively. Okay, I got the mini cans of ginger ale. It's like Canada Dry. Um, because sometimes I just want something, but I don't want a full can of it. So, I got the mini cans of Canada Dry. And that's looking like everything. Um, yeah. That's looking like everything that I got. That's my quick Target haul. And this is showing you what I'm going to be using to make the next four meals. Um, which is going to be vegan gravy from scratch. I don't see my bag with my, um, that's what I'm missing, guys. Oh, okay, here's something. I did have my tortillas because I am going to be making fish tacos. And that is for my pescatarian meal I'm giving you guys. So these are my white corn tortillas. Um, I will be showing you guys how I make my taco shells. And then, let's see. Um, I'm trying to find my... Oh, here's something. Here are my bell peppers. Um, red, green, yellow, orange bell peppers. I will be using those in my um, taco blend. Um, yeah, I will be using those in my taco blend. And I might be using them in my fish tacos. I'm not sure because I think I have some frozen green peppers and onions I like to use better for my fish tacos so we'll see what happens let's try to find our um before I walk away from here and get those cookies off the um cookie sheet let's try to find my um plant-based burgers I bought some plant-based burgers I wanted y'all to see the one. I actually really like the, um, oh, here they are. Okay, I found my burger and I found my cheese that I'm going to use. This is the, um, this is the queso, the white, the blanco, queso blanco with jalapenos. That's the one I like and you guys are going to be shocked at how little of it I use to make my nachos. I, this lasts me forever because I literally use like one tenth of it to make a huge pan of vegetarian nachos. But this is what I use. I used to use um, Velveeta all the time. They have a smaller size of it and they changed their ingredients. And so now their ingredients has pork and soy. So no more Velveeta for me. Um, can't do it guys. So let me see something. I want to, what did I drop down here? Oh no, I dropped my, um, y'all, I dropped my blueberries. And these are messy blueberries. I'm going to have to take these back anyway. These are not good. Hold on, guys. Let me not fall. Okay, let me see. I dropped my blueberries. And these blueberries are not good. So that worked out. 